Good evening. The state's top cop has his eyes set on Google. Tennessee's attorney general says the state is joining a multi-state investigation into the tech giant's business practices, including online advertising and search traffic. So the question is, in this connected world, what can you do to limit the data that tech giants like Google collect from you? News Channel 5's Jason Lamb takes a look. Experts say the privacy of your data online follows the basic rule, if it sounds too good to be true, it probably is. Every time you're getting something for free, it's not really free. You're giving up something of yourself in return for what appears to you to be free. So how can you limit what Google and other tech giants know about you? One step, never click a button that gives you the option of using Google or Facebook to sign in. Experts say always make a separate username and password without giving Google or Facebook access. So now you're using this application, but because you signed in via Google, they've got you. And they now know your patterns, and they can turn around and market that to people which will generate spam, which will advertise to you in one way or another. And you may not want to use Google Chrome or other browsers like Safari, which are connected to Google and Apple. You consider using a different browser like Firefox uh, because that gets you away from being part of the Google world. But experts say no one step will remove all the data about you that's out there. The cost of living in a connected world. It's very, very difficult to function in modern society without having a digital footprint that's out there and that is accessible in one form or another. Jason Lamb, News Channel 5. Thank you, Jason. Now, we have three other steps that you can take to limit the data that giant tech companies gather about you. You can find that on our website. Go to newschannel5.com.